New Zealand's original predator-free lobby group is relaunching in a bid to save our endangered species from becoming extinct. Les Kelly says the current focus on eradication using toxins like 1080 isn't working, and he believes the country's at a tipping point. Dave Gooselink reports. Ecotourism operator Perry Reid is passionate about native wildlife, flora and fauna, spending millions to try and protect this spot on Otago Peninsula. There's a continual barrage from outside of um, predators coming in. Continue, we need to do it on a bigger scale, and it can be done. New Zealand has about 2,800 endangered species, but Reid says the current system isn't protecting them. If we don't take immediate action, we're going to lose our wildlife and it, it will be gone forever. It'll be extinct and it'll be gone. Conservationist Les Kelly set up Predator Free New Zealand a decade ago, but says his vision got poached by the government. He wanted to find a credible alternative to toxins like 1080, one that's more humane and proven more successful in killing predators. We are at a critical stage, t a tipping point. We may have even passed it with a lot of our uh, species. To turn that around, Kelly wants to see 19 million of these self-resetting traps installed right across the country, from conservation estates to residential homes. The devices were invented in New Zealand, they're powered by CO2 and use chocolate as a bait. We want to kill every predator there is in New Zealand, rats, cats, possums, hedgehogs, mice, uh, stoats, ferrets and weasels. The pair want to reclaim the original predator-free brand, removing political interference to launch what they call the biggest green initiative in the world. They're calling on Kiwis to back their bid and help preserve New Zealand's clean green reputation. Dave Gooselink, News Hub.